see Elton Darcy here. Uh, we're going to uh, change the spur gear out on the Volcano EPX. So you're going to take out these four screws here and this screw here. And that's going to take off this cover and this cover. Get those out of the way. Pay attention to your screws when you take them out back here. The two in the front are fine thread screws and the two in the back are the coarse thread screws. So uh, this this uh, purple aluminum plate, this chassis brace, it has to come out. There's three screws up at the front. We've already taken the screws out in the back that hold the cover on. And there's a nut here for the servo horn that has to come out. Oh, you can see a little bit better. There's a nut here and then the three screws, they come out. As well as this screw here that holds the antenna tube. set it to the side just for making things a little easier let me get rid of this battery hold down okay so next we're gonna pull the drive shaft out there's a set screw in that That's out and the drive shaft is out. And next, you're going to take out these three screws and get them out. And that's going to um, loosen up your chassis brace. The fourth one, I thought it had to come out when I talked to you on the previous video, but it doesn't have to come out. That actually holds your battery hold down post. So you're going to pop out these three and these are countersunk screws so they have the chamfered head on okay let's get that out flip it back over and then your motor will pull off of this shaft like so and then to get this off, we have an E-clip here. I'm gonna zoom in and get the E-clip off. Take two tools here. And it goes off. And then let me get this back in the shot here. There are three washers that come off. And then your spur gear slips off and keep in mind there's a pin there to hold that on now we're going to be replacing that with uh, the steel spur gear I got a set of them a spur and pinion come together um, 64 tooth spur 21 tooth pinion uh, for the red cat volcano um, it's a HSP part I uh, got it on, you know, it came, well, it came from eBay. I didn't get it. Somebody else actually uh, had sent this to me. So there's the uh, information if you can get anything out of that. All right. I'll get this new spur gear on here. Just pops on like that. Put your, I'm sorry, there was four washers on this. Thought it was three. And basically they're used as shims, I guess, to go between the C clip and that. Now it looks like we're only gonna put three washers back on. There's no room for the fourth one. Uh, I guess this gear is a little bit uh thicker. Or maybe I don't have it on all the way. Nope. So you're going to put three washers back on if you use this metal spur gear. I told you before, I don't have much dexterity in my fingers. Two problems. I got first I got burned in a fire. That pretty much desensitized my hands. There's an explosion actually back several years ago 
we won't get into the details of that. All I can tell you is, is it was pretty bad. And then I decided to uh, tear some fingers off. As you can see, they don't uh, they don't work properly anymore. So um, that was the other thing that happened. Uh, Oh, about 10 years after the explosion incident. And uh, so it's left my right hand where it doesn't feel that great, but it could be worse. Uh, could have more serious problems, I guess, huh? All right, so now, trust me, I'm not complaining. Life's been good to me. And we're going to put the motor back in. right in there and while we got it flipped over we'll go ahead and put our drive shaft back in in the cup pop this set screw out and I want to put some thread locker on that if it's a metal on metal part especially your drivetrain not your motor you never put thread locker on your motor motor gets hot and it'll seize the screws but all the other metal on metal parts that uh, are movable, you want to put thread locker on. All right, so now we're gonna put these three screws back in. Basically, we're just gonna reverse the assembly of what we did taking it apart. Uh, we'll try to keep this painless because you saw me take it apart, so you should know how to put it back together. If you don't, go back and look at the video. Now when you put these screws in, get one end started. I'm gonna get it lined up here. Get one end started. Don't tighten it down. Until you get your other screws in. Makes things easier. Once you get them all in started, then you can Alright, so we got these screws tightened down. Flip it over and then we'll put this chassis brace back in. Oh, got it the wrong way. Alright, so I'll put all these screws back in that we took out and uh, we'll get back to things here. Now you get all this back together. You can't adjust the way I see it because everything moves around. You can't adjust your spur and pinion gear unless you put your four screws back on. You can't put your cover on or you can't get to your spur and pinion gear. So we're going to adjust the lash on the gears. Piece of copier paper, printer paper. Stick it in there, roll it forward, get it between the two uh, gears, the, the spur and pinion gear. And then on this particular model, there are two screws that are in the motor mount there. And you can access it through the back, loosen them up. You get one up top and one down bottom. Loosen them up. Push your motor in, tighten it back down. You don't have to take it all apart and do all that stuff to do this. Here you go. Roll it backwards, get your paper out of there. And that is it. And we're going to put a very, very light, and I mean a very light coating of grease on.
to make things a little bit. Boy, our metal gear is noisy. But anyway, so there it is. Spur gear on the Volcano EPX, the Red Cat. Uh, simplified, make things easier. So, hope it helps out. Take care.